Let's get in Jagran Prakashan. Uh, their December quarter earnings may have been a bit off, but you really don't look at a media company from what they've done in a quarter. Largely over a year, what is the kind of growth rate that, uh, that comes about is the question that we ask most media guys. Motila Loswal, of course, has come out of the report. They believe that the company is on a cusp of a revival as well. So let's talk about the growth prospects for the company and uh, get in Mr. R.K. Agarwal, uh, who joins us on the phone line to talk about all of this and more. Mr. Agarwal, good having you. Thanks so much for joining in. Um, December may have been what it is. Uh, is. Is the current quarter looking like getting back to steady state growth? Before I talk about the whole of the quarter, let us look at you know various businesses of our company, huh. right? So they they have uh, I mean like each business has different color, and uh, what I would request you you know to look at them you know and then uh, reach the conclusion, okay? Yes. And so as far as uh, you know radio business is concerned, since November it has been growing you know on the expected line at a very steady rate of growth of nearly you know between 15 to 20 percent. Hello? Yes. Yes, I can hear you, sir. Yeah. And uh, in fact, the new stations which were launched, they have done far better than what we had expected. Hmm. Number three, as a result of that, uh, we, I think, uh, will deliver, you know, better operating margins than what we, uh, than what we had at the past. Okay. For whole of the year. That is for the radio business or for the overall that business? That is for the radio business. Okay. What would right. those numbers be, sir? And then we'll move on to the other businesses? Uh, no, uh, number in what sense? As I said, you know, I mean, like operating margins is going to be, are going to be better than what we had uh, envisaged or what uh, we had indicated at the time of our, you know, going to market uh, in the month of January or February last year. So we were expecting, you know, the current year's operating market in the range of 30 percent, which I'm sure, you know, would be uh, uh, better than that. Okay, fair call. So that's the radio right? business. So, yeah, that's the radio business, and uh, um, uh, most heartening things are too. One is uh, new stations doing far better than what we had at the past. We'll be breaking even, you know, far earlier than what we had in the past. Number two is uh, a very steady rate of growth since November till uh, March. So radio clearly we see, you know, uh, uh, the recovery uh, already taking place. Now okay. coming to, you know, digital business, digital business for us has been growing uh, in uh, uh, exceeding, you know, 20% throughout the year. And that is what would be the growth rate for the year as against, you know, our peers who have shown the growth. So digital business is also doing very well. Uh, outdoor and event businesses, they have done exceptionally well, especially outdoor. So they will continue to do very well uh, in fourth quarter. Now coming to the largest business, which is the print. There, uh, in our case, we had uh, benefit coming from the UP elections last year, mm -hmm. which is not there. So that, in fact, uh, increased the base and uh, neutralized the bit, the demonetization impact. So I do not see any growth coming in Q4, but most importantly, if we exclude the election benefits and the revenues from the government, right, which were on account of UP elections, then private sector has done pretty well. Mm -hmm. And those uh, private sector has done pretty well, and that is what is on recovery board. So, FY19, Mr. Agarwal, if indeed the private sector of, uh, spending continues to remain robust and we hit yeah. the election season in a meaningful way over the next 12 months, can yeah. we expect that the overall revenue pie will look a lot better than what it than, than the 10% odd expectation that people have? Uh, of course, I fully agree with that. I mean, like, uh, as I mentioned, all the businesses will have different growth trajectory. But on overall basis, if we grow, you know, 9 to 10% next year, especially at the back of, you know, general elections, which are due in 1920, right? Uh, so we, we remain very optimistic about it. More than 10%. And one last question, sir. I mean, the belief that people have, I mean, reading out a brokerage, while they believe that there'll be a 10% CAGR, and I think the number that you mentioned could well be, I mean, there is a possibility that it could well be higher, but they believe that your EBITDA 
uh, would grow maybe b anywhere between 15 to 20 percent yes. over the course I of the year agree. as well. I do agree. I mean, uh, let me correct. Uh, as I mentioned, you know, different businesses will have a different, you know, trajectories. And on overall basis, I do not say beyond 10 percent, but I say, you know, revenue should grow in the range of about 9 to 10 percent overall, you know, revenues. And that should result in a growth of 15 to 20 percent. There is no doubt about it.